So, uh, 23 January 2013. Um, but this is a nice start, isn't it? For each of the following curves, find the gradient at the point with x coordinate 2. Have you noticed how, how rarely they say um, find two other the x? There's always some code that you have to unpick. So, as soon as we see find the gradient, <laughs> that tells us that we're going to have to differentiate. What kind of a differentiation thing is the first one? Quotient rule. So we're going to do the quotient rule with that. Uh, so if oh, if uh, if y equals three x over two x plus one, then uh, if you can write this formally with the u's and v's and stuff, or you can just go straight into it. The, the u is three x and the v is two x plus one. Both of them differentiate really easy, don't they? So dy by dx, remember it's uh, v du by dx minus u dv by dx, all over v squared. How do you remember which one comes first, v du or u dv? Visual display unit, brilliant, <laughs> PCU. <laughs> right, so it's v, 2x plus 1, <laughs> times du by dx, what would du by dx be? Good, you're not going to this morning. Brilliant. Say three junction. Three. Three. Got one done. Okay. Minus v. Sorry, that was v du by dx. Ooh. Minus u times dv by dx, which would be two, all over v squared. There we go. Let's tidy up that top line. Oh, what happens to the x terms? It just goes, doesn't it? We've got six x take away six x. So we're left with 3 over 2x plus 1 on squares. What did the question want? The gradient at the point with x coordinate 2. So if x equals 2, dy by dx is 3 over 2, 2 would be 4. Plus 1 is 5, so that's 5 squared. So it's 3 over 25. And we're left with that, which is a great start. Um, part two. What kind of a question have we got here? Chain rule. We might want to write this as y is 4x squared plus 9 to the half. Remember, um, the, the cool people think of this as being big bear, little bear, so it's the big bear, the whole thing. <laughs> so the derivative of the whole thing is something to the half, so that would be a half times something to the n minus 1 times the derivative of what's inside. This is amazing. What's the derivative of what's inside? 4x. Is it? 8x. And now we just need to tidy this up, and so this is, well, the half of the 8x would be 4x. And this is the, this bracket is the minus a half, of it, so it's divided by the square root of 4x squared plus 9. And the question, of course, didn't want to do anything, actually wanted to create it when x is 2. If x is 2, do what with the x is, what have we got? 8. Oh, the square root. Is that root 25 on the bottom? Yeah. So we end up with 8 and 5. Brilliant. 